Hello guys, welcome to yet another tutorial on the same channel, you see Andrew Crew. Today we'll be talking about weights and opposite. Weights and opposite part 1. On this part, we are going to focus on the weights good and bad. Good and bad. In French, talking about French language, good means bon when we say good in english language in french language we translate this as bon we use this very bon over a masculine noun and we use this very bon over a feminine noun but both of them simply mean good and the difference is that the first one has one n and the second has double N. Furthermore, we have something we call goodness in English language. Goodness in English language. And goodness is an abstract noun as we all know, meaning it's a noun that only resides in someone's idea or in someone's thoughts, and not something that is physically concrete and in French language the word goodness is translated as bon day so when we say goodness in English language in French language we translate the word goodness as bon day now the opposite of good in English language as we all know is the word bad so when we say good the opposite is bad and bad in French language simply means or is simply translated as mal. We use this very mal both for masculine and feminine noun. Don't forget that the mal here is in form of adjective. So don't also forget that the good and bad mentioned, yes, are in form of adjective, meaning um, we use them here, you know, in describing something. Now, let's cite some examples using these two basic adjectives in English language and then translate them into French language also. Let's start with good. I have a good father. I have a good father. And in French language, we translate this as J'ai un bon père. J'ai un bon père. Now the bone here or the bone deployed here has only one N because the noun pe meaning father is a masculine noun. So we use um, the bone that has N that indicates that the noun it's describing meaning pe is a masculine noun. Now the next example. I have a good mother. I have a good mother. And in French language, we translate this as J'ai une bonne mère. J'ai une bonne mère. Now you notice that the first one and the second one, what we only change is we change the father to mother. So father is a masculine um, noun, while um, mère or the mother here is a feminine noun. Now here, the bond we used here has double N. Because the word me, meaning mother, is a feminine noun. Now, using the opposite of good, we are using the opposite of good, which means bad. So, we are constructing a sentence here with the word bad. All what you did to me is bad. Bad here is the adjective we're looking at for. And bad here is also the opposite of the word good. So when we say all what you did to me is bad in English language, in French language we translate this as Tout ce que tu m'as fait est mal. Tout ce que tu m'as fait est mal. Now we use the mal here. And this word mal is used both for masculine and feminine meaning that we don't double 
the consonant L or we don't add any other letter to it so the spelling doesn't change so we use the male for masculine and we use the male also for feminine so the opposite of bone is mal don't forget the bone here means good while mal means bad and the opposite of the word we mentioned earlier on bonte the opposite of the word bonte simply means méchanceté méchanceté so bonte here means goodness while méchanceté means evil bonte goodness Méchanceté, evil. So the opposite of goodness is evil. And in translated in French, we say the opposite of bonté is méchanceté. Alright guys, we're going to call it a day here. Thanks for joining us on today's tutorial. If you have any questions as pertaining to today's tutorial, don't forget to make use of the comment section and drop such questions there. I'm going to go through them also and reply them accordingly. Alright, we're going to call it the day here. Have a lovely week is bye from me bye